There is that popular saying, actions speak louder than words. And in this case, the Ravens' words were very loud. Because yesterday, John Harbaugh said when it comes to the status of Ronnie Stanley, he said, we're going to come to a resolution very soon. And so many people, they took that as a bad thing. They, they, and then rumors even started of a possible Ronnie Stanley retirement, and it got everybody freaking out when John Harbaugh said that, the word, when he used the word resolution, because it just it didn't sound like anything positive. And then, because uh, we heard about Ronnie Stanley, he just he didn't want to have surgery. He wanted to put off surgery for as long as he possibly could, see if the rehab was going to come through, and it obviously hasn't. Because he's been out since week one. And with Ronnie Stanley now, it's been announced that he will have season-ending surgery. Ronnie Stanley is out for the year. For the entire rest of the season. So add another one to the long list of players on injured reserve for the Ravens. Said so they place him on injured reserve. That is a wrap. His season is over. That it, it, it reminds me of all the pain that we have been through already this season. Um, just with so many people being so many significant people being hurt and being lost for the year. And I know in, in a previous video where we were talking about the list of, of players that are on injured reserve, the list of players that we're missing. Some people were like, oh, engraving, 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 engraving. You, you forgot LJ Ford. You, did, you didn't mention LJ Ford. And that was, of course, no, it, it was no diss to LJ Ford because y'all know we love LJ Ford. Shout out to his pops, too. Good. Shout out to Larry. But um, it was the, the reason that I missed him was because I can't remember everybody that's on that long list of Ravens injured players every single time. I also didn't mention Derek Wolf. I forgot about him, too, because that list is so long. And it's been changing. People have been getting added to it. Some people have been getting taken off of it. But it's been a long list. And even if more people get taken off of it, it will remain a very long list. Ravens have been through it. They've been through a lot. Uh, and, and with Ronnie Stanley, season-ending ankle surgery from Dr. Uh, Robert Andrews, who uh, he... He's very notable in the NFL world uh, when it comes to the surgeries. So now, uh, Ronnie Stanley's out for the year. But, again, actions speak louder than words. Over the past couple of days, the Ravens, they kind of let us know that Ronnie Stanley was out for the year. The Ravens signed uh, an offensive lineman, James Carpenter. Now, he's an interior offensive lineman. He's a guard. But they signed him to the practice squad. They also... Claimed Brandon Knight from the Cowboys. They claimed him off for waivers when the Cowboys released him because the Cowboys were hoping to get him back on their practice squad. But Ravens said, uh-uh, give me that. And he's an offensive tackle. And with Andre Smith, they, of course, have been elevating him for the past couple of weeks. Uh, but they've been pretty thin uh, at tackle. And, and it, it was a question from subscriber that we talked about a lot. Uh, it was in the thoughts of a lot of people's heads. What what was going to happen when Ronnie Stanley came back? Because we know that first game, Alejandro Villanueva, he struggled big time at right tackle. He struggled big time. But, again, it was only one game. So my response was, it was only one game. And then you saw how he responded. Now, he was obviously a left tackle when he played against the Chiefs and, and so on and so on and so forth moving forward from there. But um, he struggled that game. So we all wondered, what's going to happen when Ronnie Stanley comes back? Are they going to bench Alejandro Villanueva? Or are they going to are they going to keep Patrick Ricard? At, I mean, not Patrick Ricard. Patrick McCarry, are they going to keep him at right tackle? What are they going to do? But now we unfortunately don't have to answer that question. Cuz Ronnie Stanley is out for the entire year. Mm, mm, mm. And that's tough. This this is tough because with Ronnie St we, we 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 had so many conversations. Like, oh, man, just imagine, oh, when Ronnie Stanley come back, and he'll be fully healthy this time. Oh, man, just imagine when we get the boy back. Oh, man, the offensive line could possibly be even better. But now, that's it. That's it. Now, the only benefit, and it's not really a benefit, but it's really just making positive out of the situation. 
The only benefit to this is that now your offensive line is now officially your offensive line moving forward. Unless somebody were to get hurt again. And what I mean when I say that is that these guys now know it's official that these are your linemen for the 2021 Ravens season. Alejandro Villanueva, Ben Powers, Bradley Bozeman, Kevin Zeitler, and Patrick McCarry. Nobody is playing with somebody looking over their shoulder. Nobody is playing with uh, uh, and just not knowing what's going to happen when Ronnie Stanley comes back. Nobody's playing with that fear of, oh, man, I might be benched. And that can work for and against players because sometimes it could be like, oh, man, you could be playing in fear and whatnot. It'd be like, oh, man, I'm going to get benched. So you might play worse. Or some people, if they they know that somebody's breathing down their back and that competition is heating up, it might force them to play even better and really give that everything. But now this offensive line they'll be in a more sort of relaxed state of mind. And they'll be sort of put at, in, put at ease, in a sense. Because they know that their jobs now are officially their jobs. More so Alejandro Villanueva and Patrick McCarry. More so those two guys. Um, but man, it's like, we're so tired of these injuries. Like I said earlier, I, I just wish it was like Madden franchise where you could just turn the injuries off. You could just do one click and the injuries go from on to off just like that. But it's not. And this was the, the one, one position, offensive line. That was the one position group where Ravens just... We say stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. This was the one position group where they they weren't ready. They, they, they weren't ready to deal with it. And then even with them not being ready to deal with it, even worse, like everybody was getting banged up. Everybody. So they were already thin on the offensive line. So then when injuries happened at that position, like everywhere else, Ravens were stacked. Everywhere else they were stacked. But when they traded uh, Orlando Brown Jr., and that the trade is it's worked out um, because they were able to draft Adafi away from that trade. And he's been amazing. Defensive rookie of the year candidate. Um, but along, it, it, when they traded Orlando Brown Jr., it just made them that much more thin on the offensive line. And then Ronnie Stanley, he has an injury history. Uh, so we were hoping that they would just have something ready just in case. Uh, and they kind of did with Tyree Phillips. Um, last year was a bit of a rough year, but it was a rookie year with no offseason. Um, so he last year, he was like up and down, but he was just he was getting comfortable in the NFL. Uh, but they just they didn't have much. So Ronnie Stanley got hurt. Tyree Phillips got hurt. Um, and again, last game, Ben, ben Cleveland got hurt. But they they've been getting banged up. Alejandro Villanueva, he got hurt. Uh, so they, they these guys they just been in this uh in this just funk the injury bug again the injury bug it bit us hard early in the season big time but then it throughout the season it's been taking these little bites here and there but now this happens again and it's 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 crazy because it's been one of those mystery injuries to where everybody was who was watching the game, they were like, especially the offensive line, lineman people. Especially, like, I know my guy Cam Neal, too. But he said, Ronnie Stanley, he ain't look like himself. He ain't look like Ronnie Stanley. Did not look like himself. Didn't, didn't look like he was fully ready. And then you hear, oh, Ronnie Stanley's out. Oh, he missed practice. And it's like, oh, okay. Then it's like, oh, he missed practice again. And he missed practice again. Oh, he's going to miss this game. Oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna miss this game. Oh, uh, all right. Now I'm getting a bit concerned because he hasn't been practicing. He obviously hasn't been playing in the games. And but the thing was that they didn't put him on injury reserve, so that gave us some hope. Like, okay, all right. He's not playing in the games. That's true. He's hurt. That's true. But the Ravens they didn't they didn't take him out for the next three games. They didn't put him on injury reserve. So we got hope that Ryan Stanley could be back. Nope. Not anymore. That's a wrap. It's done. 
And now those same thoughts with the Ravens putting Ronnie Stanley on injured reserve. Now those same thoughts are going to creep in the Ravens head about one Derek Wolf. Because with Derek Wolf, or did they actually put him on injured reserve? Now nah, I don't even remember, man. This 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 whole list, this this whole list of people on injured reserve, people not on injured reserve, it's crazy because it just you don't even remember anymore. You don't remember anymore. And with Derek Wolf, like right now off the top of my head, I I do not remember his status. But it was the same thing with him. It's like he had this mystery injury, and you know what? Let me check. Why are we talking about it? Let me let me check right now. But with Derek Wolf, he had this. <clears throat> excuse me, this mystery injury, and he wasn't practicing. It, they, his back injury. And he, he wasn't practicing, and then they were like, oh, okay, well, he, he's hurt. He got a back injury. Oh, he's not practicing. He's not going to play this game. Okay. So he didn't play. And then the next time, oh, he's not playing this game either. So I'm like, okay, if, if, if he's this hurt, why are we not putting him on IR? So with, with IR, it, it gives us, okay, they did put him on injury reserve on October 2nd. All right, cool. But what, what, what injury reserve does, it gives us more clarity. But when guys are just in the loop, when they, they hurt, they, but they're not on injury reserve, it's like they just, they just floating around or something like that. You just you don't know. So we like, oh, man, like what, what, what's, what's happening? So we got clarity with Derek Wolf. But with Ronnie Stanley, we didn't have that up until now. But it is what it is. And it's an unfortunate is what it is. And hopefully Ronnie Stanley next year when he comes back, he'll be fully healthy and be all the way good to go. Uh, so next year, Ravens, they'll get some internal help on the offensive line from guys returning. Uh, that being Ronnie Stanley and also Jawan James because uh, he he's not playing this year. He ain't playing this year. No hardball said, oh, he, could, he ain't playing this year. But um, they, they're still going to need to do some heavy investing into, into the offensive line. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for watching the videos and supporting the channel. And unfortunately, like Ronnie Stanley is for the remainder of the season, we out.